Ingle Sea. Innis Mon is an island on the northwest coast of Wales, an area rich in prehistoric monuments. We visit windswept Iron Age ruins as well as medieval chapels. In this episode, we cross over to the east side of Anglesey to visit the Dean Hrigui burial chamber and the Romano British settlement. Chlihoi is near two other interesting sites. Chlihoi burial chamber, a prehistoric cromlech across the road and a ruined medieval chapel. The three sites are all within a short walking distance of each other. Chlihoi burial chamber is on the narrow road towards Molf. This cromlech dates back to the end of the 3rd millennium BC, 4,500 years ago. Originally covered with a mound of earth, access to the central chamber was through a small passage. Excavations in 1908 uncovered the remains of 15 to 30 people along with pieces of beaker and grooved pottery ware from the end of the Neolithic period. The colossal capstone of 25 tonnes is supported by eight upright stones, only three of which are actually holding it up. These uprights are two metres tall, although being submerged in the soil, they seem shorter. Settlement and Chapel. The last place we visited that day had huge stone foundations and building footings and a ruined chapel we visited on the way back to the car. Dean Hrigui is an ancient stone-built settlement with local limestone foundations once containing two residential round huts and several rectangular barns and workshop buildings. Nine huts within an enclosure spanning about half an acre may have been a farmstead based on the design of a Roman villa. Sturdy walls contained livestock and a protective wall encircled the whole settlement. This outer wall was constructed of two rows of large limestone blocks filled in with rubble, five meters thick in places. The wall is almost intact, although much reduced in height. The Welsh word for wall is Dean, hence the name Dean Chligoi. Some of the rectangular huts shared their outer walls with this main wall and the entrance appears to have been on the northeast side. Dean Chligoi was used at the end of the Roman occupation of Britain during the Romano-British period as along with glass and a small silver ingot, Roman coins and pottery were discovered from the 3rd and 4th centuries AD. Excavations, though, do suggest earlier structures in use at this site long before that. During Roman times, Anglesey was called Mona. The late Britons lived in roundhouses, but adopted a Roman lifestyle. Raiding increased as Roman occupation declined, and this could be when the defensive wall was built around the site. Excavation also revealed a glass jug and animal bones, some fashioned into tools and one into a musical instrument. Six foundry hearths were found in two of the rectangular buildings and the remains of slag piles indicated smelting, a process for iron manufacturing. Many pot shirts were discovered that had been repaired with iron clamps. Roman iron production strengthened Roman power and the coal used at this site possibly came from Flintshire as local coal would not be discovered for another thousand years. 
Despite the Roman finds, traces of oak charcoal found in two hearths suggest a small Iron Age farming community probably existed there at one time. Lengths of occupation are unclear and it is unknown why and when the site was abandoned. Its vast age witnessed Druids, the invading Romans and the dawn of the Christian era. The present hill, now overgrown with sycamore and ash, hides this site from view. final episode in the Anglesey Road Trip, we visit the nearby spooky ruins of the medieval Dean Hlickwy Chapel. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon, it will help us bring you more illuminating content.